hi this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on C programming so in this tutorial we're gonna see the difference between a structure and a union so just for the demonstration purpose here I have uh, defined a structure person and uh, we have uh, the age which is of type integer and the name which is a character array and uh, the member height which is of type float and also I have defined a union um, called uh, student and uh, we have the members as age which is of type integer then uh, you know name which is a character array and also the height which is a float value so now we're gonna see you know what are the difference between a structure and a union so the first difference is you know uh, we are using this struct keyword to define a structure and also the union keyword to you know uh, define a union so there's nothing much about it you know it just uh, you know uh, difference while defining the structure and union so the next thing is when a variable is associated with a structure the compiler allocates the memory for each member so we can say that the size of a structure is greater than or equal to the sum of the sizes of its members that's because you know if uh, the compiler is going to do some structure alignment you know then uh, the size of the structure will be you know more than uh, the sum of the size of you know each members but when a variable is associated with a union the compiler allocates the memory by you know considering the size of the largest member so the size of a union is you know always equal to the size of a largest member in the in that union to demonstrate that I'm going to use the size of operator on this uh, struct person and also you know this union student so I'll be using this printf statement now and uh, we need to use percentage d form a specifier then we need to call the size of operator so it's going to be size of okay let me add new line here and then you know we need to pass that data type so it's going to be struct and uh, person so i'm going to be copying this printf statement and paste it in the next line and it's gonna be union then now uh, we have student save this one execute compile and run you can see here the size of the structure is you know 16 that's because you know this age is gonna take 4 bytes then uh, this character name is gonna take 6 bytes it's 4 plus 6 10 plus uh, you know height is going to take 4 bytes 14 plus you know the 2 bytes are used for structure alignment by the compiler for this you know character array and this 16 is greater than or equal to the sum of the size of you know uh, each members uh, of this structure person you can see here you know these three members are going to have a size of 14 but you know the size of this structure is 16 because of some structure alignment and with the union you know the compiler is going to allocate the size required for the largest member here you know this um, name is a character array and it's going to take six bytes because of the compiler you know memory alignment you know this uh, compiler allocates eight bytes for this uh, union student you know that's why you know we are getting the size of this union is you know 8 and which is equal to the size of the you know largest member of this union you know just because of the memory alignment we are getting a value of 8 here so the next difference is each member of this structure is you know allocated with different uh, memory locations and you know while in unions you know the memory will be shared between all these members and that's why you know we can store the information in only one field in union but you know with structures we can store the information in all the members or all the fields the next difference is you know the address of each member of a structure will be in ascending order but with unions you know the memory will be shared uh, the next difference is you know if we alter the value of a member in union you know it's gonna reflect in all other members 
but with if we alter the you know value of a member is a structure you know it just uh, alter the value of that particular member only you know the other member will be you know unaltered and the next difference is you know with structures you can initialize each members and but with unions you know you can only initialize only one member because you know if you initialize another member you know the value of previously initialized member you know will be corrupted so this is it guys this is about some information on uh, the difference between a structure and a union thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next tutorial